What's going on guys, it's Brandon J, and today I am finally back with a treasure hunting video for you guys. I'm super, super stoked about this. You guys have been asking for it. I've personally been wanting to do it for a very long time. I've been coming out to this lake for quite a while now, and I've seen a little bit of treasure on the outsides. The reason why I haven't done this treasure video here sooner is because this is a lake in Florida, and it does have alligators in it. They're pretty much everywhere out here. So today, I do have somebody who's got my back. I've got my buddy, Corey. If you guys watch any of the pond or fishing videos you know Corey has been in quite a few of those so Corey has a big bass boat here and basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna be swimming and searching around the edges including docks and everything around this lake it's a pretty clear lake so Corey is actually just gonna be following me around in the boat with the trolling motor the presence of the boat is pretty much gonna scare off any alligators that could be in the area also he's gonna have visual contact on me as well so if anything happens Corey can uh, act accordingly and basically save me if I need any help I know what you guys are thinking Brandon you dive in some sketchy places you wouldn't dive in this clear beautiful lake without Corey no I would not because I am truly scared of alligators this time it's a real threat if you guys do want to check out Corey's channel it's gonna be linked in the description below he does a lot of fishing with me and some pond stalking videos which are pretty dope almost forgot to add if you guys like videos like this where I come out and basically risk my life for the entertainment of YouTube make sure you drop a like on this video if we can get 5,000 likes on this video I'll come out to another lake in Florida with my buddy Corey we'll search for some treasure and I will risk my life once again on YouTube. Here we go, guys. Hey, I got more treasure. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. We barely even got started, guys. I already found some stuff. All right, Corey, we're about to get started. Uh, you got the trolling motor set up? Yep. All right, follow me with the trolling motor. Give me a little space, uh, but make sure you keep out an eye for alligators and then watch out for some other boaters because there's some other guys tubing so okay don't let them get close to me all right <laughs> all right i got all you right, man. man let's do this it's gonna be so scary this is so scary <laughs> <laughs> Giant bass, giant bass, it was so scary. <laughs> We're swimming in all this grass. It's like way deeper than me. Like this grass is so tall. And I look, there's a bass this big, bro. And uh, <laughs> anything big right now is like scaring me. Cause like, I'm, you know, like I'm so nervous. Yeah. That was crazy though. Bottles, bottles, cans, cans, this, this, I'll keep all the lures. So I just got out of the water for a few minutes. Man, there is actually so much stuff down there. I wasn't expecting there would be this much stuff. Uh, there's a ton of grass, which is really, really creepy, but uh, this was actually all buried. And this was sticking up now. Corey and I have actually seen some snakes cruising the bank here quite a bit. Uh, so I knew some snakes were around. It looked like there was a snake. It's just kind of moving with the current. Just looked like there's a snake just like 
looking around. I was so scared to grab it, <laughs> but I grabbed it, pulled it out. It's an old ski rope, but anyway, it's pretty cool. I'm really blown away by how much stuff we're actually finding. I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the water, keep trying to find some more treasure. All right, bro, good luck catching those fish. <laughs> keep an eye on me. Oh, I got you, man. <laughs> You won't believe this. Yeah. I got a bottle of water that is full, never been open. You're good yeah, to go good. if you're thirsty. Oh, please don't drink that. So we made it to the dock. This is where a bunch of people jump off. This is like a really trafficked location. You can kind of tell there's a bunch of people at the boat ramp there. There's also a pontoon that just left full of people. Uh, so there's a lot of kids that come to this dock and jump off. We're starting to target and pinpoint locations like this highly trafficked areas. Basically, we're able to find pretty much lures and cans and stuff anywhere through the lake. However, we want those big ticket items. Uh, so places like this are gonna be a little bit more optimal for that. Somebody loses a necklace when they jump off and then it goes into the grass, they can't find it. Or maybe a phone or something like that. You never really know. So we're gonna swim around the dock now. There's a bunch of grass here. It's kind of creepy, but we're gonna make it happen. There he is. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right, good news, bad news. What's that? Good news is it's freaking epic under there. Bad news is no treasure. No treasure? No, I couldn't find anything. Yeah. It's like. Look it's at the bluegill around you. <laughs> like the bluegill are coming up and like checking them out right now. I don't know if y'all can see it. They love me. They do. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't really find anything. I think when people like jump off, if they do lose anything, there's grass literally, if I stood up, it'd be up to my chest over there. The grass is so deep. So if stuff falls, falls into that grass, there's just no way to find it. But there's a ton of fish here. <laughs> Super cool. They're all really just hanging out. Yeah. Look, look, there's a snake just took off. I told Dude, you there were snakes here. That's why I'm here. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Bro, he's in the... No way! He's just hanging out over here, man. Oh, I was just in that water, Corey. This is not good. This is just not good. That's just not good. Dude. Corey, I was just in that water. Dude. I was just there. I was Dude. just there. You, you were that close. <laughs> Bro, you know what kind of freak out I would have had if I ran into a snake while I was underwater? Dude, I couldn't imagine that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we are officially done searching for treasure for the day. Corey, thank you for saving my life. Not a problem. I really do appreciate it. I got you. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Corey's channel. It's going to be linked in the description below. He is the only reason why I survived today. Uh, we have a bunch of kids and everybody hanging out at the dock right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over some of the finds from today. All right, guys, so let's start off with one of my favorite finds of the day. We actually found a giant, uh, what is this thing called again? Frisbee. Yeah, it's like some giant Frisbee thing. 
Uh, it's ring flyer right there on the uh, edge there. It says ring flyer. So I don't know. These Frisbees are pretty cool. I remember when I was back in elementary school using stuff like this. So it's kind of cool. My second favorite find of the day was actually the ski rope. It's got a little bit of rope and uh, was broken. So every time I find any type of treasure, I'm always imagining how someone lost it. And in my head, when I think of this, I'm just thinking of some guy like getting pulled and he's like wakeboard and he's having fun. And then the line breaks and he just face slams into the water, drops the rope. And uh, yeah. It's probably a bad day for that guy. So this next find is kind of funny. They're known as motor muffs. I'm not sure uh, if that's the actual name of them or not, but basically this goes onto your motor uh, on the back of it and you can hook a water hose up to it. Basically uh, runs clean water through your engine. A lot of people use these uh, to kind of clean their engine out after you know they've went in some salt water or anything, but it's kind of funny. Someone probably left this on their boat and then came out to the lake and it just fell off. Found some weird piece of rubber. I have no idea. I found an old like umbrella. Like this thing, this thing is huge, man. This is like the outside of an umbrella. It's got like the metal rings on the inside there. So all the finds in my treasure jar right here are actually a bunch of old lures. Now, what I've realized after I've started doing river treasure hunting kind of all over, I've noticed that the longer the baits are in the water, the bigger the baits get. So it gets pretty funny. So I'll show you this one first, right? So this is actually like some type of old Cinco. It's not really a big deal. It's not too much different than it normally would be. It's, it's just a little bit bigger. Then you have something like this, which used to be like a little bitty crawfish bait and it just, it's now it's giant. It's ridiculous. Here is another perfect example of that. Here we have a regular fluke. Like someone just lost this not too long ago. This is the like perfect size of a fluke. This is the actual size they are. However, Here's one that's been in the water just a little bit too long. You can see there, there's a big difference there in size. I also have a few more flukes that I found. A bunch of flukes out here. I've got a few giant worms here. These things are just disgusting, man. They're so swollen and waterlogged. It's pretty gross. And last but not least, I have this little, uh, it used to be purple, little beaver bait here. All the color has been like sucked out of it, but it's pretty cool. Oh, and I almost forgot this guy. This is actually the opposite. This worm, I think it like shrank or something. This thing is super, super tiny. I don't really know what's up with that. So that is it for all of the cool finds and the lures. However, I did pick up a lot of trash today. I've got tons of cans. Oh, I just dropped one. I just dropped a couple. But I've got tons of cans and bottles. Every time I come out to a location like this, I try to clean up as much as possible. That treasure isn't the coolest stuff to find, but it is kind of taking care of the ecosystem here. Clean it up and all that stuff will be thrown away at the end of today's video. Don't think you can get away, little solo cup. I see you hiding under that boat. There you go. All right, guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up. Remember, if we can hit 5,000 likes on today's video, Corey and I will come back out to a lake like this one or maybe this one, and we're going to clean up a little bit more, see if we can find some more cool treasure for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, also, don't forget, Corey's the reason why I'm alive today, so make sure you go check out his channel. It's linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. That has to be one of the most clever ways I've ever seen anybody wash their boat, Corey. Bro. It's quick, it's easy. That's the only way to do it. It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just splashing water on his own boat. <laughs>